Now that everything is in place, it's time to make our very first Cold Fusion experiment. Now to do that, we will use the experiments folder of our uh, project and in that folder we will use two files in this video. The first one is form.cfm and the second one is formaction.cfm. Now let's take a look at the first file, form.cfm. I will run that file in the web browser. And you see it's a very simple form with a first name field, a last name field, an H field, and a submit button. Now let's take a look at the, uh, the HTML code of that form. It's very simple. You see on line 12, we have a first input uh, tag, which is a tag of the HTML. And that field is called FLD first name. Now we have a second input on line 16, which is FLD last name. FLD stands for field, of course. We have uh, the third one here on line 20, FLDH, and the submit button is here at the bottom of the file on line 23. Okay, now feel free to pause the video and explore that file on your own. Let's go now to the form action. And this is a very simple file as well. If I run it in the browser, you see welcome, first name, last name. You are age years old. Now, the goal here is pretty obvious. What we want to do is take the data that was uh, submitted here in the form on the form.cfm page and use that data to generate dynamically a customized welcome message for the user. And so change those dummy data here, first name, last name and age by the data submitted in the form. All right, to do so, I go back to ColdFusion Builder I go to form.cfm and the first thing that I will do is change here the action of that form. On the form tag on line 9, I will change the action to form action.cfm. This means that when the user will click on the submit button, the data will be sent to that file. Let's take a look at it. So let's run that file again in the browser. I will close those two tabs here and I will open my developer tools in Google Chrome. All right. Now take a look at that network tab when I will hit the submit button. I fill the form with my first name, my last name and my age. And now I hit the submit button. Now, first of all, if you look at the address bar, we are on the formaction.cfm uh, file. So this is, this is all good. Now here in the network tab of the developer tools, I can see the request that has been made here to formaction.cfm. I see that the request was uh, successful. The status is 200, which means uh, a successful request. It's okay. And if I click here on that file, I will see some uh, details about the request. I see the requested file, which is this one. The method used is post, the status code is 200, the request was successful. And at the end here, I have a very interesting part because I can see that some form data was transmitted to that page. I can see first name Damien, last name Brindox, as I typed it in the previous page on the form, the age is 39, and this is the submit button that I have uh, hit, which is also part, of course, of the, of the form. Now, we know that the data is available to that page. Now, how to use it to customize our welcome message? Let's go back to Coefficient Builder and go back to formaction.cfm. Now, here is the welcome message. Now, just before that welcome message, I will open the first Cold Fusion tag of this course. And this Cold Fusion tag is CF output. And that Cold Fusion tag will be closed here after the welcome message. Now, basically, that CF output tag, and notice already that all the Cold Fusion tag, they all begin with uh, the, the CF for Cold Fusion. The CF output tag instructs Cold Fusion to output something on the screen, to print something out on the screen. And what we want to output here is the first name variable as typed in the form of the previous page. So I will delete that part of the text. And I will type to Ash signs. Now, actually, I just typed one ash sign and uh, Confusion Builder typed the second ash sign for me and placed the cursor in between the two signs. So now that I'm in between those two ash signs, I will write form dot FLD first 
name. And the FLD first name here must be the name of the form where I typed that value, FLD first name. It has to be exactly the same name. Now we'll do the same for the next two variables, so here for the last name, so double hash sign, form.fld last name, and for the age, same thing, form.fld age. Now the CF output tag will uh, instruct Call Fusion to look at those hash signs here and to replace what has been typed in between the hash signs by the corresponding value. So this is how it works here. Let's take a look at how it works now. So if I run the page, I will open my developer tools again, view developer, view developer tools, look at the network tab again, I will fill the form again. All right, my age, hit the submit button. And here you see, welcome Damien, you are 39 years old. So it works. Now in the request, I can see exactly the same as before, the form data has been submitted. And now the most interesting part is to see here the response, so, or to go to the elements and see here what the browser have received. The browser received the HTML code that you see here in the Elements tab of the Developer Tools of the Google Chrome. And in that HTML code, you see no trace of the ColdFusion code that we have written. This means that ColdFusion has processed that code, has removed it from the page after it has been processed. So what the browser receives, it's an actual HTML code and the browser just renders that code. So this is how it works.